Hello my beautiful Scorpio, welcome back to the Lucky Tower. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm excited to read your energies. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising, period of May 25th to the 31st. Before we jump right into your tarot messages, Scorpio, I'd like to invite you guys for a quick meditation session. I have for you soul cards 1 and 2. I'm going to be getting one card from this deck for you guys and one card from this deck for the other person. So how we're going to do this is that you can grab a pen and a paper. Just describe what you see in the images. Have a person or an issue in mind if you're um, finding some clarity over the situation. Please bear in mind that these are powerful creative images and they do not have any preconceived meanings. That means it can evoke a different response from one Scorpio to another. So this is going to be also helpful to activate your intuition. If it doesn't make sense the first time, give it time to settle in your psyche. Go back to it a few days later and hopefully that will be able to give you um, some answers, okay? <clears throat> so let's get one card for the other person. Okay. So you can pause this video if you guys want. This is your card, Scorpio. Let me just get this to focus. There we go. All right, and the other person. Beautiful. And just a quick close-up together. If you guys want to share what you have come up with with your meditation session, please let me know in the comment section. I truly enjoy reading your comments. Okay. So Scorpio, let's start things off by getting one Oracle card. This is the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, my absolute favorite. Let's get one card for Scorpio. Oops, and there we go. <laughs> we have Loyal Heart. I love it. You guys are very loyal. Scorpio's very, very loyal. But when you cross that line, well, you're loyal to yourself first. That, that is what I see. So loyalty with your own standards, loyalty with what you believe in about love and relationship. So that's what you see and what you want in a partner. You could already be in a relationship with this person and then you're still loyal to them. You're still finding out, you know, if this person is loyal to you as well. But for some of you, it's like no matter what happens, you're sticking it through with this person. But someone here does love you, Scorpio, and you love them back. You see each other as your better half. Beautiful owls is that kind of is the kind of um, deep knowing that someone truly belongs to you and you belong to them. Beautiful. So I'm going to put that on the side. We're going to get now more specific messages for you, Scorpio. So please bear in mind, these are all general messages. It may or may not resonate for you guys. So check your other signs for more accurate reading. First row would be your energy, Scorpio. Second row would be for the other person. If you are a cross-watcher, feel free to reverse the roles, okay? So, so far we have for you two of wands, the page of pentacles the lover's card, and then the eight of pentacles. How beautiful. The lover's, the loyal heart. I'm getting really twin flame vibes over here that you two are really meant to be together, that kind of energy, that you truly match each other's frequency, and, and you just really click, you know? Someone understands you from in and out. So the other person has the knight of cups, the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Whoa. Um, so this person is worried about something. The person you're dealing with, they love you. They want to offer you the world. They want to offer you the happiness. But they're still concerned about something, okay? Let's get a pass card or a recent pass card. You have the Two of Swords. And then an outcome card. I'm not going to be flipping this over until the end of the reading, okay? Alright, so let's see what we got here for you, Scorpio. Um, aside from the fact that this is like your soulmate twin flame connection, someone you truly see yourself having a long-term relationship with, and you truly love each other so much, okay? Um, aside from that, I feel like a decision 
is about to be made or has been made because recently with the two of swords it felt like that decision was very difficult if it was easy you could have already done that you know and because coming up this week you could still be in that indecision phase right you're still afraid to decide on this situation the lovers card also talks about decision making um, one that is based off on what's really gonna make you happy okay Remember I told you guys that you're loyal, but you're loyal to yourself first. So I feel like the reason why you're conflicted and you couldn't make your mind up is because yes, you love this person, but you also love yourself to the point where you you know, you know, you know that you wouldn't find this connection anywhere. But the minute that something is off, of course, you guys love yourself more, you know, and you don't want to see yourselves really go down that path of maybe destruction or unhappiness in the long run. So you're being smart about this. But you still love this person deeply, really, really spiritually and emotionally care for someone, okay? So with the two of wands, this usually appears when you have recently accomplished something. You want to know where you want to go next. You're seeing all the possibilities. It could be that you're far away from this person as well, so you're thinking about them. Maybe right at the, at the moment, you guys are far away from each other. Um, geographically right so you're thinking where to go next with this person or are you gonna are you gonna take things to the next level perhaps marriage or exclusively dating whatever that next level looks like for you guys okay but I see someone here thinking of um, deciding on that so with the page of Pentacles you guys could be in a relationship with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn or someone is about to offer you an, um, a relationship that it, that's an earth sign so but it's like you are not so eager to accept that yet whatever they're proposing here it could be a hand for marriage it could be anything really depending on your case but you're thinking long and hard about the pros and cons you're waiting all of those options in your mind um, and because you can almost taste you know can you almost feel and see what's gonna happen in your life years from now if you accept that offer so it's like you're taking a step back to really contemplate and think to yourself if this is what you really want you know over time because this kind of decision is not easy for you to make okay and so with the lovers card uh, I feel like this person wants to seal the deal that's the words I'm hearing they want you for life they want you to be their, theirs their partner for life right they they are aware of the challenges and so they're willing to work it out and you're willing to work it out but to you it's like I don't know. I sense the kind of energy Scorpio we're in. You're deciding if you want to settle down now because it feels like work is also doing great for you guys. So remember I said you could be far away from each other. Maybe you live in different areas or that you're about to travel for work. And so you may be away from this person and this person is offering you something to make you stay. But it's like you're deciding whether to accept that offer or your job. I know that's a pretty hard decision to make. That's why two, two twos are showing up here. It's decision time. It's a fork in a road. So you love your work, though. You love yourself. You love the fact that you're, you're really passionate about your craft, but you also care for this person. It's like you're also thinking to yourself, why can't this person be the one to adjust for me? Why can't be they the one to meet me in the middle? Because right now it feels like you're torn. You want something, but you also desire to level up in your craft. You have the Eight of Pentacles over here. That means you work so hard to get to this point. You've put in your time and your effort. And so you're not about to put that all to a waste by stopping now as you're picking the momentum. But it's like this relationship is so important to you that this person is also... I don't know if they're growing impatient, but they're starting to feel so... Um, anxious with the nine of swords and they're also feeling really fearful about the outcome of this decision that you're making here it could also be a form of an apology maybe this person has done something to you in the past they're trying to come back and ask for another opportunity another chance and although you love this person and you want to heal the relationship it's not easy to just go back to how things were so maybe that the eight of pentacles is showing up here because you want to work things out with this person but it's not easy you're still in that phase of deciding whether or not you're gonna jump right into going back to this relationship so with the nine of swords they feel guilty about something or they're very very anxious about something they're experiencing some extreme mental uh, 
fears, all right? Paranoia, lacking sleep, staying late at night. Uh, maybe they think that they're not enough. Maybe you're dealing with a person that lacks confidence. Uh, but on the outside, it feels like this person has a lot with the nine of, so um, nine of Cups, I mean. But with the Nine of Swords, it just cancels out. See, the happiness that they have is seemingly, you know, canceled out by their fears. So this person can easily get discouraged. That's what I see. And it's maybe because of their age, because they're younger, right? Or maybe by experience, they lack a bit of experience with, with these types of situations. And so they're a bit worried that they're not going to really get things according to uh, what they initially set their mind into. You have to understand that this person loves you, but their fear can get the best of them. Okay? So... With the Nine of Cups here, that talks about wish fulfillment as well. But to me, this talks about this person wanting to have you and them be back to how things were in the beginning. So I think the context here is that they have done something in the previous past that may have made you feel like you want to walk away from the situation. Okay? But truthfully, you haven't decided on leaving this person. It's just that you, you are in a stalemate. You're not, you're not moving. You're not at all... Um, deciding on accepting it or whatever it's just that you're stuck there you're just there kind of like the hangman so it's like this person fears losing you okay and they're doing now some introspection they realize that they're not ready to lose you that you're the one they they, they, they want to end up with and they want to bring back the old energies like they want to have things how it was in the beginning I do sense here it can also involve children so if you're married to this person and you guys have children Maybe there was some point that this person has let you both down or let you down, but they're now exhausting themselves trying to win your heart and your affections back and your trust most importantly because they decided to themselves like they're not happy on their own and they want to reconnect with you and, and your children because that's their source of happiness. It's like this person coming back around realized had a huge, you know, realization, just you wreck a moment. It hit them so hard like a tidal wave. You know what I mean? It's like flashes of memories from the past came flooding them. And they're now scared that they lost the chance and opportunity with you. And so they want to be able to take a, a chance to get back with you. Wow. And so you knew this person from the past. You guys go way back. Even childhood. You've met this person. Okay? You guys go way back. You've experienced a lot. To get to this point, that means you already know each other from in and out, right? That kind of openness. And it's like you did not expect this person to disappoint you like this at all. So when they've done what they've done in the past, you still can't let go of them. But it's not that easy to accept or take them back. But you know in your heart you're still loyal to this person because there's no other one that can match uh, the love that you feel for them. The way they make you feel. Okay? So, it's like they're wishing that you would accept them once again. But it's like part of you is ignoring this person or not giving in that, that quick, that easy. And they're, they're crying about this. They're regretting all of what they've done or like the times they weren't there for you. That is what I see. I'm going to clarify a bit here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? But this person is madly in love with you with the Nine of Cups. So, you guys could also be dealing with a water sign. Another Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces. But why is the Nine of Swords here? Okay. Five of Pentacles. So they feel like... Yeah, so leaving you behind or maybe you both not being together made this person feel like they're, they're shut off. Like they've been left out in the cold. And they want to go back to you because that's the warmth that you provide. And that the comfort that they're trying to find is... Well, they have seen it all you know they've experienced what's like not having you around so the warmth that they're seeking is only with you and they want to get back to you because well you have that kind of energy where you heal this person from whatever fears whatever experience they may have that makes them feel discouraged it's like whenever they're with you they heal themselves you have that healing energy that you give off on this person whether you believe it or not that's why they keep coming back to you this way their soul is healing because of you. It's like a twin flame energy again that I'm picking up. You guys mirror each other so much. 
So when it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's bad. And this person had it bad when they were not with you. That is what I see. So clarify the Six of Cups here, please. Why is the Six of... So we have the Justice card and also, whoa, the Seven of Swords. So, yeah, they, ha they have done something really, really bad here to deceive you. They could have done things behind your back, sneaky behavior. And they lied to you, it's what I see with the Justice card. They lied to you in the past. They lied about children as well. Or it could have been a divorce for some for some of you. Um, and you're, you're fighting for the custody of your children maybe, but this person suddenly realizes that they can't make it with you and, and they want to they wanna go back to how things were in the beginning. But it feels like for some of you, you're ignoring it. It's like it's too late now. That is what I see. Um, the Seven of Swords energy... It could have been any situation, it could have been a third party situation or like someone just took something from you. I feel like they could have taken your money or taken advantage of your money because I see a lot of pentacles over here. But they deceive you in one way or another. That's what I see. And now they're experiencing the other end because just, just this card also talks about karma. So what they've done to you in the past is like they're experiencing it now. Even if that's not what you wish for them to happen or experience. It's just how, how universe works. You know so they are aware that the only way they can relieve the karma and be back to your arms is that if they apologize and they make things right that makes sense because they see you as their other half why is the nine of cups here Ten of Swords. So mostly some of them will be rejected by you or they couldn't even get themselves to communicate what they truly desire with you because they feel like they're not even worth it. So with the Ten of Swords, it's like, yeah, they feel like time has passed. They, they blew their chances with you. So they do feel like if you're going to reject them because they feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, you're not paying attention, right? And so they feel like, well, I've done this to myself. And I just have to accept it and move forward. That I may not have me my emotional fulfillment. I I blew it. You know that kind of energy. I blew it. Coming in the near future is the Page of Swords. So they're gonna try to like still stalk you. They're still gonna try to find out if you're ready, or if you already have someone new. Maybe you already have someone new here. That's what I see. Maybe you're loyal to someone new, and this person in the past is still trying to insert their way back into your life, and they're figuring out whether or not they do have a chance with you. So with the Page of Swords, someone is stalking you definitely. Someone is checking you out. This week, you're going to find out it, um, all of this energy. It seems a bit messy with the situation. So you have to take control of your emotions here, Scorpio. Um, if there's someone here in the past who's trying to still be in your life, but you don't truly want to be with this person any longer, then you have to stand your ground and, stay, and, and really be firm with your decision. And I feel like this, for some of you, this could already be a situation where you have someone new. And you don't want this to pan out in your life. So you need to close this chapter. That is what I see. So be cautious. That's what I see. Be cautious in handling your emotions and who to trust. Because I feel like someone's giving information about you to this person. Okay? I'm going to clarify one more. Yep. <clears throat> and for some of you, you're finally going to move forward. And let go of all of this, even though you love this person once upon a time. Perhaps this loyal heart means you already have someone new who loves you equally. But the other person in the past uh, who's trying to still be in your life are also going to be forced to move forward because they knew that you already have someone new. So that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sending you love and light and I'll talk to you soon.